slime molds, and other strange creatures. Nature nurtures many life forms that are very strange indeed. There are tube worms over three meters long feeding on the bacteria that live in the deepest and darkest parts of the oceans under extreme pressures in vents spewing out boiling water with corrosive acids. There are coral reefs considered the rainforests of the sea that span areas hundreds of kilometers long. A colony of tiny living animals who secrete hard carbonate exoskeletons which support and protect their bodies and provide a home for 25% of all marine species. The Venus flytrap is a carnivorous plant that catches and digests insects. One of the strangest and most unique creatures on earth, however, is the common and ubiquitous slime mold that lives in rotting logs found in dark, damp forests. It is one of the oldest members in nature's club of life forms. Slime molds, neither animal nor plant nor fungus, begin life as amoeba-like cells that are just wandering sperms and eggs. They live in any type of dead plant material and contribute to the decomposition of vegetation, feeding on bacteria, yeasts, and fungi. They mate if they encounter their counterpart and form cells containing many nuclei without cell membranes between them. They grow much like a colony of single-celled amoebas into networks up to several square meters large and weighing up to 30 grams. They are merely a bag of amoebas encased in a thin slime sheath, yet they manage to have various behaviors that are equal to those of animals who possess muscles and brains. When food is abundant, slime molds exist as single-celled organisms, but when food is in short supply, they congregate and move as a single body. In this state, they are sensitive to airborne chemicals and can detect food sources. Moving at faster than one millimeter per second and avoiding bright light, they swarm over and engulf food just like amoebas do. In their hunt for food, they create nodes and branches and grow in the form of an interconnected network of tubes that resemble subway, bus and rail networks of humans. Their transportation networks to their food supplies feature shortest routes with redundant connections offering resilience in case of accidental breakage of any of its links. It is speculated that the forces generated by pulsating protoplasm are interpreted and used to determine which routes to reinforce and which connections to trim. This remarkable process of cellular computation implies that cells have intelligence and contain a signal integration system that allows them to sense, weigh, and process huge numbers of signals from outside and inside their bodies and to make decisions on their own. When a slime mold is cut into various pieces that are physically separated, the parts find their way back and reunite. Studies have even shown an ability to learn and predict periodic unfavorable conditions. When the food supply wanes, the slime mold migrates to the surface of its substrate. Like tadpoles, who metamorphize into frogs, and caterpillars into butterflies, slime molds transform into rigid fruiting bodies resembling fungi. Individual slime molds join up into a tiny multicellular slug-like coordinated creature and crawl to open places to grow into a fruiting body. Some parts become spores to begin the next generation, while other parts sacrifice themselves in suicidal altruism to become dead stalk. The stalk, 
like branches, reach high up in the air to allow the countless spores to be carried by the wind or to hitch a ride on passing animals to later hatch into amoeba-like cells to begin the life cycle again. Despite the uniqueness and strangeness of slime molds, there is one life form that is even more unique and strange, man. Humans, one of the newest members in nature's club of living forms, is indeed a very unique and strange creature. He is a hairless mammal who walks upright, gazing up to the stars, and is curious enough to wander about his creation. Like a child playing at home with matches, he is intelligent enough to make toys capable of destroying his entire home and dumb enough to play with them. <laughs>